research done in this country, or rather published in this country, is in fact, was in fact, never performed. I could quote you chapter and verse and names and dates of a long list of very highly respected individuals in the field of physiology who have published papers on research programs that in fact never happened. They sat down at a desk one day and took a pencil and they wrote down the figures that they would have produced if they had done the story, or the study, and they published it. Now, since you might say, well, you might be able to prove some, what somebody did, but how do, you, how do you prove what somebody didn't do? Well, one of these studies, the man does not mention either the date which is perhaps the single most important part of any research, the date. Oh, you invented the wheel. Well, that's nice. When? It means nothing if you're second or third or 19th. When did you invent the wheel? And where did you publish that revelation? Well, now, if there were wheels being used prior to that or talked about, then you didn't invent it. So the date is perhaps the single most important thing in any research study. This man didn't bother to mention the date. I wonder why. The second most important thing is perhaps the where. He doesn't mention that either. Well, a little third grade grammar school arithmetic, if you read the study and look at it, will tell you since he claims that he personally supervised the whole study in detail, that this man has an either a very fast watch or a very slow one because it would take him 200 hours a week. The number of subjects he had, the number of exercises they did, the number of sets, the number of repetitions, the rest between the studies, the pace of movement and so on. Well, it's very simple. You sit down and you add this up, taking his own data it would require 200 hours a week, and he personally did it all. Well, I don't have 200 hours in my week. I don't think he does either. In due course, we're going to give him a chance to produce the research subjects in court. Supposedly, he had 20 of them. He may get one guy to get up on the witness stand and perjure himself claim he was one of the subjects, but when we get through with the first one, the other 19 will no longer be in the courtroom. They will have suddenly remembered imperative business elsewhere. We're going to put the first one in the penitentiary for perjury, if there is a first one. A great deal of such research goes on. It isn't research, it's fraud. Another study was done on behalf of Ken Cooper in Texas, the aerobics guru. That's giving him the benefit of the doubt. To compare the effectiveness, the value 